as if you were observing a conversation between someone and... Sorry, you caught me scratching. This week on Just the Tip Tuesday, we are talking about the difference between speaking directly to the camera and slightly off camera. Now, back in the day when I started in this business, we used to call this speaking to the camera the state of the union because really newscasters and the presidents were the only one that did that. The beautiful slightly off camera observation method is what we used to call the 60 minute style because when you'd watch 60 minutes and they would do interviews, the person would be looking off camera speaking to the interviewer. Some technical considerations when making the decision of speaking directly to camera or slightly off. If you're gonna have a multiple camera shoot like we have here, looking slightly off works well. If you're gonna have that same multiple camera shoot and I'm speaking to this camera, you should never look directly at the second camera. It just looks weird and you have no idea when your editor is gonna switch between cameras so you don't know which one you should be looking at because it could be jarring and disjointed. Another thing to think about is the use of a teleprompter. If you're gonna use a teleprompter, just know that your subject's eyes will be locked on that screen, generally in front of your main A camera. Style is style, it's up to you. As long as you own it and be consistent with it, you can use the directly to camera or slightly off camera in most instances. Just be cognizant of your audience. Are you educating them on something, informing them of something, or are you simply sharing someone's story with them? It's up to you, but again, be cognizant, be consistent, and own whatever style you choose. Thanks for watching this week's episode of Just the Tip Tuesday. Here I am looking slightly off camera in that 60 minute style. And it's really awkward because I'm addressing you, our audience, but I'm looking off camera.